Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Dale McKay. I'm a senior technical marketing architect in the Network and Advanced Security Business Group here at VMware. For about the next 15 minutes, I'd like to take you on a little bit deeper dive into NSX tagging. Now, NSX tagging is a new feature that we've released in the 1.1 release for the Carbon Black Cloud workload product. I think you'll find it pretty interesting. I walk you through how to enable it, how to use it, and ultimately what the end result is for you being able to apply NSX tags from the Carbon Black Cloud console. Let's now connect our Carbon Black Cloud workload appliance to the vCenter for the environment where this appliance is going to reside. As you can see, I've already deployed the OVA and I have a VM that is uh, turned on. It's um, up and running. I also have a um, window open to my appliance. There's the IP address right there. And where I want to go to is to the registration. Now, I've already registered this uh, particular appliance in the past. You can see that it knows about the vCenter or the SSO because I'm running an embedded uh, PSC. And so that platform services controller is part of the vCenter. And what I want to do is I want to go and register it here with the vCenter. You see that it comes back. Um, it uh, annotates the plugin that's going to be used for the vCenter. And now also notice that I have the ability to go and select an NSX host name. This is new with the 1.1 um, release of the Carbon Black Cloud workload. So let's go ahead and select the NSX host. You can see it shows us the NSX version. And I'm going to go ahead and register it. I'm going to put in some credentials. And you can see that it comes back and it says connected. Now at this point, this appliance is registered to the vCenter, is also registered to NSX. You can see that there was a brief message that popped up about um, plugins being deployed, and sure enough, it says the Carbon Black Cloud 1.1 plugin has been successfully deployed. Let's go ahead and refresh the browser. And when we refresh the browser, now we can see that our plugin has been deployed. We click on the plugin. We can see that our appliance is healthy. We can see the four services that constitute the appliance are running. And it's in the process of creating the inventory, the affected assets, and the critical product vulnerabilities. One other place that we can go and check to make sure that we have the appliance correctly configured is if I go into the Carbon Black Cloud console, I select that particular appliance I should see a connected for a status and a true and true for the appliance details at this point that appliance has now been registered to that particular vCenter okay now that we have configured the carbon black cloud workload appliance to be connected to vCenter and also to NSX and we can see that reflected right here Let's take a look at what that registration process actually does on the NSX manager. The first place that I want to point out is it goes and it creates three groups uh, within the NSX manager. These groups are CBNSX Custom, CBNSX Isolate, and CBNSX Quarantine. If we take a look at these groups we can see that they currently have no members in them and for each one of them the group definition is based on a tag alright 
The next thing that the registration process creates is a context profile. And within this context profile, we are going to list a fully qualified domain name. That fully quali qualified domain name in conjunction with the context profile is going to allow us access to a limited uh, number of resources, in this particular case, a fully qualified domain name. When we have our uh, CBX in a, the CBNSX quarantine tag applied. So we create three groups. We create this context profile. And then we also create three distributed firewall policies underneath the infrastructure category. Those policies are CBNSX isolate, CBNSX quarantine, and CBNSX custom. Now the idea behind the CBNSX custom is this is a policy uh, that uh, really doesn't have a lot in it at the moment. It's a deny all policy. You can see that we dropped the traffic right here. But it's intended to allow um, administrators to create a custom firewall policy based on that tag of CBNSX custom. You can see that the quarantine policy allows for DHCP traffic, allows for DNS traffic, and we use that context profile that I just mentioned, the one with the uh, fully qualified domain name in it, as part of this particular uh, policy, and it allows us to provide access to that quali fully qualified domain name. And notice that in each case, all of the policies are only applied to the tags that we assign, the CBNSX isolate, CBNSX quarantine, and CBNSX custom. So that's really what gets created within the NSX manager when we register the NSX manager to the appliance. Okay, next, let's see some of this NSX integration in action. And we're going to use a specific VM. We're going to focus on this VM right here, this Clus Win 1064 VM. And you can see that it is connected to our NVDS LAN segment. That's a requirement for release 1.1 1 .1 that uh, we're dealing with the NVDS switch in that release. And if we take a look, we can see that uh, we had a ping going to Google. Let's start that up. And now we're pinging to Google, and you can see that we have connectivity from this VM. Let's go take a look. I had mentioned applying the tags. I'm now in the Carbon Black Cloud console. And here's that VM that we're working with. Let's just take a look over here. And what we will see is we now have the ability to apply an NSX tag. If I click on Apply NSX Tag, I'm going to be offered three selections, a Quarantine, an Isolate, and a Custom. Let's go ahead and choose the Isolate. And we're going to apply that tag. And then we're going to go back and we're going to watch and see what happens on our VM. And you can see, once again, that I used this VM, this Clus Win 1064 VM. I used the Apply tag and applied the Isolate tag to that particular VM. When you apply that tag, the Carbon Black console is going to make note of that. It's going to provide you a visual reference that indeed there is an NSX tag applied against that particular um, that particular device. Let's look over here and we can see that now we're starting to get timeouts. 
if I open my browser and I try to go to a non-cached website we're probably going to find out that I can't get there again we'll see that tag show up in the carbon black cloud console as marking this particular VM as having an NSX NSX tag applied against it notice that I'm not able to access that Disney site that I'd put in my pings are still unresponsive to Google and indeed I have an indicator that says restricted by an NSX tag all right let's go in and let's remove let's remove let's remove that NSX tag and we are going to remove that NSX tag and now when we go back to the VM that we've been monitoring we will see that indeed our pings will pick up once those pings pick up then I will have my internet connectivity restored they've just picked up if I go and refresh my browser I can indeed get to Disney now if I go back to my carbon black cloud workload and I refresh what I will see is that the indicator for the NSX tag is going to be taken away based on the fact that I have indeed taken away that tag in just a minute we'll see that all right we'll refresh again but indeed I do have connectivity back remember that I did use the isolate tag I could have used the uh, quarantine tag or I could have used that custom and, and once again here's what each one of those particular policies um, does and the policies are named right after the tag so when I use that CBNSX isolate tag that now um, had a that now created a member of the CBA NSX isolate group which is where this particular policy was applied to to that group there was a and it had a single member of that VM so now this policy is in effect and it was basically a deny all policy again if I just do a quick refresh here we should see that the indicator for the NSX tag has now been removed from that VM inside the Carbon Black Cloud console.